most people from different countries around the world have a version of a deity. Most nations that are even from the third world have temples or shrines or some sort of synagogue in which they praise their version of the Lord. A pagan minister, a pagan priest, is someone like me who professes the name of the Lord Most High in terms of a Father God and a Mother Lord or Mother God. I personally choose to reference them as Father or Heavenly Father and Divine Mother when I am praying for me on the days in which I remember and are moved to do that. I used to do prayers every day in my home because I built an altar next to my bed on my side of my partner's and mine bed. She was a Buddhist but also learned about Christianity from me. So she claimed when you asked her what she was that she was a Buddhist Christian. But many times she would simply say, I'm Buddhist. And I was fine with that because there is a beauty in Buddhism that loves people and loves life and loves to party and loved her as my wife. A pagan understands that there is a monotheistic type of world, but a pagan also understands that they can be polytheistic and that they can appreciate deities from around the world. We can learn many things by, have a, by having a hobby of rele reading religious works. Many people, for example, who claim to be Christian spend a lot of time reading books that are provided or sold by their churches. I believe I impacted a mega church to produce content for their parish and their parishioners of books that they felt were good on the Lord. Because I said, look, if you want people to be holy, they need reminders daily outside of the Sunday events of service. Some mega churches with a constituency of 12,000 people to draw from have openly services Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they take turns with their minister to produce that work week where they spend several days writing their sermons or several weeks perhaps preparing their sermons and then they present their sermon on an assigned and scheduled date or set of dates to the entire parish. It gives them a chance to perfect the service. It also gives them a chance to record and put on CD for a lot of people the service. And of course we've gotten into this high-tech world where everything is posted online and can be downloadable. If you have that kind of a battery capability or that type of memory capability in your smartphone. The liars of America like to interfere with people who like to listen to God. That is a satanic thinking that someone tries to sprinkle across the family that someone is now very odd because they love to read about God. Isn't that sort of, well, blasphemous if you're a Christian to say that a person cannot read and be passionate about the Lord? Isn't it sort of evangelical to talk to people about God and isn't it sort of appropriate to remind people to get on their knees to pray to a divine architect every day. By having an altar next to my bed I was able to wake in the morning and be reminded by my clairvoyant friend Claudia who has a very unique gift besides that to thank the Lord for being alive. At the same time, I had special images and special statues that reminded me of different aspects of my polytheistic studies about the Lord that allowed me to focus on my version of a Heavenly Father and a Divine Mother, a creator of all heaven, earth, and the cosmos. Because that is what we are taught about in the good books on the Lord.